Hello art superstars and welcome. Today we have a super fun, exciting session lined up because we are going to design and print our own tote bags like this. It's very, very exciting. And what you are going to need is a cotton tote bag like this. You should have one in your art kit. I've put um, adults, I've put a piece of newspaper inside, so I advise putting some old newspaper or magazines inside just because the cotton is quite thin and the paint can sometimes transfer through onto the other side. So put some old paper inside. And if it's all creased up, it's a good idea, adults, to give it an iron as well, just so it's super flat to work on. I advise using some acrylic paints today, so have some acrylics in different colours. If you prefer to use poster paints because they're cleaner and they don't stain, that is fine. Just bear in mind that if you use acrylic paints, you can wash the bag afterwards. Um, and keep using it, keep washing, keep using it. If you use poster paints, that's fine, but don't, don't wash the bag because um, most of the colour will come out. So I advise acrylics, if not, poster paints will still work. Um, some potatoes, so I've just got one new baby potato here, close to its uh, best use by date, and I've cut it in half and put it on some tissue to dry out for a little bit. Now this is optional, some different paint brushes. Like I say, you don't have to have those, um, but they're a good extra for the session if you like using brushes. Um, a container or palette to squeeze your paints out onto. Um, an old container of clean water. Some masking tape. If you don't have masking tape, sellotape um, or different, different types of tape will work, parcel tape will work for this. And let's get started. Oh, and as well, it's quite messy um, what we're doing. So I advise rolling sleeves up, put an apron on and put some newspaper out or an old white clean tablecloth because this will, will get quite messy at points adult. So I advise doing that. I've got my newspaper out here. There we go. And I've got my bag out flat and my newspaper inside. And I'm going to get started. Now, you are welcome to follow me step by step to create one of these bags with mountings on. Or if you want, you can create your own design. It could be just some shapes that you've painted over, just some pieces of masking tape stuck down that you've painted over, or it could be a different picture of your choice. That is absolutely fine. And just to give you an idea of colour as well, here's one that I did in red and green, which has come out really beautifully as well. So feel free to either copy me step by step, use the colours that I use or use some your favourite colours, or like I say, you can do something of your own, that's absolutely fine. Now, what we're going to be doing is using the masking tape as something to create something called a resist, so the paint won't go over the masking tape. A bit like we did in one of our sessions a few weeks ago when we did the abstract patterns. There we go, so I've just ripped a long piece off with my hands and I'm just going to stick it onto my bag like this. There we go, so I've got one piece down. I'm going to make some big triangles to turn into mounting. So cut or rip your masking tape. stick down. So I've got one big mountain here, one big triangle. I think I'm going to do two or three mountains today. There we go. So one big triangle for my mountain. And I think I'll do one big one. Maybe I'll do two small ones. So Rip some more masking tape off and I'm just going to go 
go off to the side. Like this. And on the other side, I'm going to use this last little bit and do a smaller mountain like that. So I've got one, two, and three. Let me hold that up. So I've got one big mountain and then two small lines going off to the side. Again, if you're doing mountains, you can do lots and lots of tall, thin mountains, or you might just do one triangle. That's absolutely fine. However you want to do it. I'm sure it will look lovely. There we go. And I like to have snow at the top of my mountain. I like to leave them so they look white, as if it's been snowing. So how I did that, I ripped my masking tape and then I rip it again. So I've got a torn edge like this and I just stick it at the top of my mountain. That at the top of all of my mountains. Again, that's optional. And I'm going to keep that area white so it looks as if it's been snowing. So, once we've got our masking tape down with our mountains or whatever picture we're doing, we're going to use some paint. Now, I'm going to use so I've some different colours. So I've already done my dark blue mountains and my light blue sky with a little yellow sun. And I've done my green mountains with a red sky and a yellow sun. So this is coming into the evening. Some um, dusk time in that picture. I think I'm going to use some different colours. I'm going to choose some colours that I like for this picture. You might use green and purple. Or I think I might do I might do a purple sky to make it look like night time and do bright green mountains this time. Or you could do the mountains in different colours if you like. So I'm just going to squeeze out some of my paint. We do use quite a lot of paint for this, so I advise adults um, yeah, using a tube where you've got quite a lot of the colour left. There we go. And you can use a paintbrush for this, or a potato, or your finger. I will show you the different methods. So I want my mountains to be green, so I'm going to paint inside of the mountains like this. So you can splodge with your paintbrush like this. And if you put quite a lot of paint on, quite a thick layer, you'll cover it so you get a dark green. Or what I think, or what I found looks nice is if you leave gaps of white as well. So you can put some on your finger and then touch all over the, the lovely, soft, smooth cotton of the bag. like that. So that's up to you which you would prefer to do. So we can see I've done this bit with my paintbrush, it's quite a dark green and then with my finger we've got more of a dotty effect. Or another thing you can do is use your potato. So you can dunk that straight in the paint like this or paint it. I'm going to dunk it straight in because I want quite a lot of it like this and then you don't need to keep on putting paint back on there. You can do about five or six dunks, about five or six prints with it and before you need to get some more and we get these lovely round circle shapes on our artwork. 
and we go right up to the edge of the masking tape, right up to the edges. I'm going to leave the top bit white so it looks like snow, but if you want that to be in colour then that's absolutely fine too. So three options, either brush in the paint, potato dunked in paint or painted, or your finger Like I say, go right to the edges. And I'm going to do my other two little mountains in green as well. Another idea is you could mix colours on your potato and print them if you wanted to have lots of different colours. That would look lovely. Just make sure you go right up to the edge of the masking tape so that when we peel it off we can see the lines of the mountains we can see our beautiful triangles Go, and I'm just going to do this little one at the side there we go Da, da. There we go. So this is where I potato printed. This is with my brush and I did some fingerprinting as well. Um, seeing where that is just around here so it's up to you you might use a combination of all three or you might just use one and now I'm going to do the sky I'm going to do a purple sky so it looks like night time so I'm going to squeeze out some purple acrylic paint so now I have a full set of bags I'll have one for the afternoon, the sunset, which is red. I'll have one for the blue sky for the daytime. And now I've got one for the nighttime as well. Ooh. Yeah, this is why we want to make sure we've got aprons on when we do this, because it can get a little bit messy part of it, isn't it? I'm just going to pop my potato in the paint. And yeah, if you do get any acrylics on your clothes, the best thing to do is, after the session, just put them in some cold water to soak and then give them a wash adult and then it should hopefully come out. going right up to the edges of the masking tape and again with the sky you can use a brush you can use your finger if you prefer I really like the effect of the potato in the sky of the potato printing because it gives me the feeling of the clouds and the weather to do is leave your bag to dry 
for a few hours and then I'm just going to do mine now so you can see. Once it's dry, just very carefully rip off your masking tape. Like this. And then we get the lines, the outlines of our mountains. Like I said, I'll do mine now just so you can see. I advise just waiting until yours dries to do this. And there we go. Beautiful. So I've now got a nighttime mountain bag as well. And thank you for joining me, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed today. Um, please don't do anything with the back of your bag because next week we are going to finish our bags and decorate the other side. So just do this design on one side and then I'll see you next week and we will have some fun with the other side of our bags. Thank you so much for joining me, guys, and I'll see you soon.